Australian time zones. So because the Earth is round and the Sun rises at different times, depending on where you are in the Earth, we have different time zones all the way around the Earth. In Australia, we've got three main time zones. If we think of Australian Eastern Standard Time as zero, then our relationship to the next one, Australian Central Standard Time, is minus half an hour. So if it was midday here in Canberra, then it would be 11.30 in the morning in the middle of Australia. And Australian Western Standard Time is two hours less than where we are. So it would be 10 a.m. in Western Australia. Now a little reminder on the map, never eat soggy wheat bix If we're going from east to west, that is we're going that way across Australia, then from east to west, we subtract the time difference. From our zone to get to the zone further west. So if I was in South Australia and I was going to Western Australia, the difference there is one and a half hours, so I'd subtract that. If I was going from west to east, I'd add the time difference. Now there's lots of great apps, of course. Time and date will do these calculations for you. Um, you can just Google time in Perth and it will get that for you. But it is good to understand these and of course you need to be able to do this for the test. So for example, it's 9 a.m. in Perth. What time is it in Adelaide? So from Perth to Adelaide, that's a one and a half hour difference and I'm going from west to east, from Perth to Adelaide, so I add one and a half hours. 9 a.m. plus one and a half hours means it would be 10.30 a.m. in Adelaide. If it's 2 p.m. in Brisbane, what time is it in Adelaide? So it's half an hour difference I'm going from east to west, so I subtract the time difference. 2 p.m. minus half an hour means it's 1.30 p.m. Now the other type of calculation we often need to do is for flights. Um, even our calendars and apps can kind of mess us up a bit, so it's important to do a quick double check about the time when you're flying to somewhere that's a different time zone. So my flight from Adelaide to Melbourne will take 1 hour 20 minutes and leaves at 10.30 a.m. What time will I arrive in Melbourne? Answer in local time. Now local time means the time where you are, so when you get to Melbourne, we want that to be Melbourne time. Now you can do the flight calculation and then change the time, or you can do it the other way around. So if it leaves at 10.30 a.m. in Adelaide, let's change that to what time it leaves in Melbourne time. We could do this first or last, it doesn't really matter. So Melbourne departure time from Adelaide to Melbourne, I'm going west to east, so I add the time difference of half an hour so, 10.30 a.m. plus half an hour means 11 a.m. Melbourne time, it leaves. And then I just need to say, well, okay, I'm going to get there an hour and 20 minutes later. So, plus one hour, 20 minutes, 11, 12, 20 p.m. Melbourne time arrival. I could have worked out what time in Adelaide time I'd get to Melbourne and then translate it to Melbourne time, so it doesn't matter which order you do this in.